because he's the designer okay. and the father of the We're stretch. Talk about he's the Pedego he stretch. Our factory into a Pedego standard, but he's the designer of it. So we thought, who better to talk about the Pedego stretch? Is, is uh, Anthony, and we expect these Pedego stretches. These will be out in February. Sometime in the first quarter. We're not going to say exactly when. Yeah, he showed it to me at the interbike. The frames have been built. They're in production. They're being delivered to our factory. They don't have to assemble and they'll have to pass the quality. Assuming everything's well, we should see them by certainly by the end of the first quarter. End of the first quarter, and February, you March. Show your video first. Yeah. Well, he's going to show a video about the bike, and I showed you this at Interbike. <laughs> right, well, first, um, I spoke with Don earlier, and he was a little bit concerned about my accent, whether, whether people would be able to, to understand me. So, Mark is an absolute wizard, <laughs> and, and the, the Pedigo app, he's, he's updated it already. So, it doesn't look it, but. Um, I, have, I get nervous when I talk and it's, I actually drop into a very rare local dialect and so no one would be able to understand it. I'm actually speaking it now. Uh, it's translated into international New Zealand. Just to give you an idea, so if you just if you swipe it off and then I'll give you the hand signal. So, so, Kitanel Māori, Fukumohil Kitanel Māori, a ho, a te kōrero a ho ki te. Yes, what? Oh, mate, mate, that's the Australian! Oh, I'll be there, I'm going to sit back up. Okay. Sorry about that, he's already got, well, he's got Italian, he's got everything in there, so. <laughs> right, so, the Pedigo stretch. When I uh, first began designing this bike, it was, I didn't want it to be a cargo bike. It, cargo bike is one of the its main uses, but I didn't want it to be into that category, like a, a Uber or an extra cycle. So I just want to run through. Yeah, so. If I could have one electric bike, one pedigo bike, um, put everything into it, I would want, what would it be? Well, for me it would be the stretch. So I love the way that cargo cruisers drop into the corners, just that really nice cruiser feel. So the front end of the stretch has the same geometry as the cargo cruiser. Now, the riding geometry, and it looks like a cruiser, but the right geometry is a tour bike, so more like a city commuter. So you're in a more upright posture. So you can ride this bike all day. Um, you can push hard if you need to. Um, now, torque is really, really important for a cargo bike. Is how many people have tried the 48 volt and many step throughs, the 24 inch step throughs? Yeah. yeah, I've got a fair bit of. Yeah. So basically we've gone 24 inch rooms, 48 volt for maximum, maximum torque. And then the, even the trail tracker, I love the trail tracker, um, just the ability to, to ride the bumps. So the tyres we've put on this are, are 2.4, they're a cruiser class BMX tyre. Um, so this, it's nice and smooth in a city environment, but also for cycle touring. Um, just got that extra extra cushion. And then the stretch itself, the cargo. So a long tail cargo, if, if this was going to be called a cargo bike, the genre I think would be short tail cargo bike. Um, it's short enough to still feel like a normal bike. Um, and you, you'll be amazed if you strip away all the parts and take it for a really good ride through a city environment. Um, Pretty impressive. It's short enough to be loaded onto the back of a car um, for a small rider to ride it as a normal bike. Um, and then you've got the cargo capacity, which we'll go into to next. So I thought what would be better is my wife and children are a lot nicer to look at it than me. So we'll just some of you may have seen this video, but we're just going to run through a short video. That, uh,